What it do, what it do. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharae and I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, we have a lot going on. And when I say a lot, I definitely mean that. This weekend, we will be celebrating my hubby's birthday with the masquerade party. We are going to be whipping it up with some good food. I'm going to be putting together my very first charcuterie board. I have home updates I will be sharing with much, much more. With all this happening, I have to look good while doing all of this. Gotta make sure I'm on and popping with a fresh style and new nails. Hey guys. You might hear my air blowing in the background, but I've been so busy. I haven't even had a chance to record. But your girl been running around. We went to the grocery store, we went to Lowe's. We had to go to Total Wine to get some uh, wine and alcohol for, oh, forgot to tell you. It's my husband's birthday party today, so we're preparing for that. And I did some little decorating. I'm gonna show you guys that when I get home. But yeah, we went to Bath and Body Works, got some new fragrances. Right now, I'm headed to go pick up this cake and to the beauty spot store, cause your girl got to get something done to all of this. And I haven't did my nails in a while, so I'm gonna do my little press on nails, and I'm gonna show you guys my new look. Your girl been walking around naked okay so i'm gonna get that together we're over here cooking and prepping so i'm pulling up to the beauty spa store i should have went to get the cake first and then but no let me go ahead because it's taking me a little long i will get back with you and show you my new too once it's all done i'm gonna have a bunch of friends and stuff come over and then we're gonna go out afterwards and enjoy ourselves hey, hey, hey. okay let me Start running my mouth and run up in this beauty spot store. Hey, 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 hey. I'm leaving the beauty supply store, guys. I don't like these people. Everybody just staring at me. But yeah, you see, your girl looks crazy right now. Let me plop these shades on right here. Bam, here I go. Back in the car, so I'm gonna go pick up this cake. Oh, God, your girl is busy. Busy, busy mama, busy mama. Dropped the kids off at grandma's yesterday, so I definitely get to move around a lot more. Okay, so I told you I was going to create a charcuterie board. This is actually my first one. Now I've done a food platter and all that, but I told myself if I can do that, I should be able to do one of these boards. Seems like you have to be a little bit more creative and be mindful of your item placement, but I got this. At some point I might take it to another level and challenge myself even more and try more intricate board but i'm a beginner so here i go so what i've learned is you actually can put whatever you want on it just make sure that the items pair well with one another in some kind of way it's like making a meal for yourself and you want to make sure the items taste right together i wanted to add a little flair to my board so i'm adding some rose petals i created this by using a shot glass and placing each salami half way in the middle of each piece of salami until i close the center this is a little technique I learned. I actually ran out of salami so my rose wasn't completely compacted together, but it still came out nicely. I prepared this tray with some sweet and semi-sweet wine, but to be honest, if your guests are hungry and thirsty, I'm sure they won't care what you put out for them. I will put the items I use in the description box below just in case you want to make the same type of tray. Please comment below and let me know if you like what I created and let me know if you have any suggestions. So I did a little something something, put some candles out, some skulls, did a little decorating. I have some glow sticks and a little non-alcohol and alcohol beverages. For my guests, I did some decorating. I actually got a lot of my decorate, well, my, I got all my decorations from the Dollar Tree. And we whooping up some good food. And yeah, so we about to start the party.
last turnout, my husband enjoyed himself, I played games, listened to some music, and just enjoy one another. Oh, I got my nails done. These are actually my press-on nails. I told you guys that I wear the Kiss nails. These are the nails. This is the, the DTC11. That's the one I got. These are considered short nails. Once you put, they look longer, but once you pushing back your cuticles and cutting them off and stuff and pushing them down, then they look shorter. Now, if you don't do all that, it'll end up longer looking length. And then also, if you wanna get like the same look, my hair is looking a little crazy, but you've seen on my video how I ended up doing it. But this is the Free Tress Drawstring Ponytail. I usually get 1B, but this is actually a 2 because they don't have the 1B. This is called um, Santiago Girl. This is the packaging right here. This is the color, just in case you want to you know, wear the same look. And you know your girl just puffed it up trying to give it like a little wild look. But I have it pinned down now. But yeah, you can wear it. It's really a long length. This like goes to my mid back. And that's because I have the ponytail towards the bottom of my head. But yeah, this is one of my go-to drawstring ponytails. Real easy, simple, quick. But right now, I'm about to clean up this house. I did a little tidying up. Um, but I'm about to finish cleaning. So, got to get the house back right. So we went to Bath and Body, and these right here, this is a, a really nice fragrance. It's nice and strong. It's the Black Cherry Merlot. And then, of course, this is one of my favorites, too. This is, let me see if I can get it in this camera, the Ice Dragon Fruit Tea. They have these only in the large sizes right now, and then they have the Merlot in a small and the large. We got two of the Merlot and two of the Dragon Fruit tea, very strong fragrance. I recommend those. Those are one of our go-to fragrances. When I find a fragrance, I usually will put it on my list and I continue to buy it. But we had a very busy weekend. So I'm just now getting back to you. Today is Monday. I had to recuperate yesterday, guys. I did too much. I did way too much on Saturday. I'm gonna put some one of these at the front of the house on my entryway table. Get the house smelling good. Oh Lord. You guys, it's a lot of work throwing a party. I think I've had about five or six parties within the last three months. And Lord, it's a lot of preparation. It really is. I plan my stuff and I'm very... Now, I didn't get to do all the decorations that I wanted to do, but I did enough. I felt like I had so much time, but I really didn't. But it is all good. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, the people are coming back to finish the fence. Oh yeah, we're getting our fence done. So they're back there um, getting the dirt off. Okay, okay. The pressure uh, watering, pressure spraying or however you say it, they're doing that to the fence and then they're going to, I'm trying to decide on what color I want. So we're gonna do that. And they're going to come back and give me samples. Yeah, but they were supposed to come back Saturday. I'm like, we ran our errands. I'm looking at like, where, where are you guys at? No call, no text, no nothing. So, oh, I had to give them a call this morning and they said they were coming. So, that's really good because we don't need we don't need this being long and drawn out. We want to get our stuff done and and everybody just keep it moving, you know? I'm trying this new. This is a limited edition scent. It's the orange clove. Um, it's the Myers cleaning it's dish soap. I can't really describe it. This is sweet. I can't describe it, but it's you know it's not one of my favorites, but it smells pretty good. 
it's not too over uh bearing with the scent or anything like that i usually do the lavender and my basil but i want to try something different this is the fall edition and then they also have christmas one out peppermint and then there was another one the blue one i can't remember i like the blue one i'm gonna go back and get that one trying something different let me make sure you can see it there it is and we picked up a few of these too i forgot to, to tell you got these in the bathroom black cherry merlot like so it's the phone one we like strong scents I think I'm gonna keep the decorations up until Halloween. I have the fall thing going and the Halloween thing going. So, you know, kept that up with this. Thank you. With my little nets. I'll link my fall decorating video above, so check it out. And then I'm cleaning this up. But yeah, I probably will add that one to the front. Oh, my kids are scared of this. Mm -hmm. I had to turn on my 90 day fiance. I'm playing catch up. Who's it? Ahmed and his wife. They are doing some car, car, what is it? Karma Sutra type of class. Now that's a sight to see what they got going on. This show is crazy. Angela's in this show and she's cooking for Cocoa Puffs. Now she got some valid points, but I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do you guys watch uh, 90 Day Fiance? Say hi. Look at somebody's hair. Hi. Yes. You guys, my husband made some bomb oxtails and lobster tail pasta. Ooh, it was on point. I don't know if I told you. I'm sure we had like a little masquerade party. I like to have like themes to my parties. And then I didn't go all out like I usually do, but it was nice, simple. It was straight to the point. House is clean. I am so tired. This is like my... We just got back from the grocery store. This is like my fourth time at the grocery store this week. And I'm sick of the grocery store. I know the first time I was going because I had to get just run and get some groceries for the house and then had to do some party stuff and then i kind of like to separate my grocery shopping because i don't want to get so confused on what's for the house and what's for the party and just becomes overwhelming and then this new spot that i go to is so many people so it's like let me just get that's why i ended up doing it separate but yeah i had oh let me show you my one of my favorites I love these guys. I really do. You only need like one of them. But they come, I think this one comes like, maybe it might have about 15 of them in there. But these are, ooh, these are so good. They like melt in your mouth. They're like little chocolate with um, rich, look, look at that. Look at that, watch it. Mmm. See that? You only need one, maybe two. It's my favorite. Gotta pick up my little girl in about two hours. Trying to get some stuff done around this house. I need to put my little my little one put her down for a nap, but she's so nosy. Yeah. Mm. I forgot to tell you guys. So my daughter's teacher. Mm, I don't know. My daughter's teacher emailed, you know, every all the parents and stuff. It was like a list of words. And she was like, okay, make sure your child knows these words because they're going to have a spelling test on Friday. I'm like, a spelling test for first graders? When they start doing that? I, don't, I mean... My memory is not all, is not the best, but I don't remember, I, I don't, I didn't know that it started at first grade, which is awesome. I'm really, I'm all for education. You know, I, we all, we're really in big into books, making sure our kids know, you know, their math, their reading and writing. But, and my little girl, she knows, she's real quick and she's pretty smart. So she already knows, she's been going over the words. And, but 
I want you guys to comment below and let me know, do you, if you know anything about having like spelling tests at first, in first grade. Now, I do know that this age, they absorb a lot of um, information. And I think go in at the first grade level, like at a reading level of eight, and then by the end of the year, they want them to be at 18 at this age group. But my God, I'm like, what is going on? Comment below, any educators, anyone who has kids, been there, done that? Tell me, I'm in Texas. So I'm new for me, I'm learning. But this is my first child in school, so I know they changed the curriculum. Anywho, I'm rambling again. And yeah, I'm about to put these put this food up. Ooh, we got some chicken that's marinating. Ooh, about to put that on the grill for dinner tonight. And I got some um got this corn. I love my corn fresh. So I pick some of these up and I'll probably make some mashed potatoes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, make it from scratch or if I'm just going to use the bag. But we'll see. We'll see how your girl's feeling because, you know, I'm still moving. I'm real sluggish right now. I'm still kind of moving slow. I'm getting there. I really am. I'm getting there, guys. He's still at it, guys. <laughs> 